Medical Falls Pediatrics, why do you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy? Let's get started with the interview. Okay, all right. I like that. Let's go. Look, right, you get, you handling business right away. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. My guest today has the most coolest name of anyone I've interviewed. Akbar Baja Biamila is a common hater on America's Ninja Warrior and a co-host on the talk he played on an, an, an NFL and is the father of four kids. Akbar, thanks for talking with me today. Emmy, thank you so much. And, and let me just say, how, what grade are you in? I'm in third grade. You're in third grade. It actually took me to the second grade to learn how to spell my own last name. Uh, it was such a difficult challenge. And you pronounce it so beautifully. I mean, it just rolled off the tongue like it was so easy. So uh, good job. Well, we had to look it up a lot. We found out the G was silent and that just blew my mind a lot. <laughs> do you know where do you know where the name is from? No. Africa, actually. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you're right. Yeah, a country in Africa, Nigeria. Yeah, so it's a Nigerian last name. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Question number one. You have a pretty cool name. Have you ever met someone who is able to pronounce it the first time they met you? Yes. Um, yes, actually, it was back in 2022. Um, and it was a seven year old by the name of Emmy. Emmy was able to say it right away. Um, and, you know, it's funny because I usually wait and I'm OK when people mess it up because it's an unusual last name. So I always give people, oh, hey, I'll help you out. And I thought I was going to have to help you out. And so you nailed it. And that's honest. That's the honest truth. Thank you. <laughs> Question number two. What is your favorite part about hosting American Ninja Warrior? You know, I love American Ninja Warrior because I get to cheer on the athletes. I love seeing the athletes come from all over the United States to compete. And they put so much of their effort into it. They're ordinary people doing extraordinary things and there's nothing better than to be able to cheer those people on who've sacrificed so much just to be able to compete and you know they have kids they have um you know this is a part of their daily lives and you know and they just kind of find a way to work it in into their everyday schedule and so i i love cheering for them and that's why i'm always going um high energy when we're when i'm calling the runs on american ninja warrior we saw when you went on the American Ninja Warrior. Yes, that was the scariest thing ever. Um, <laughs> I ran the course back in 2018, and I was like, oh, I can't fall, because if I fall, then they're going to think, what is he up there talking about? He can't even run it. Um, and so I was very, very motivated to, to hit the buzzer, so that way I had a little bit of credibility. Like, hey, we know you played in the NFL, but you don't do ninja. So now I can say I played in the NFL and I competed on American Ninja Warrior. Yeah. Uh, question number three. I watched some of your videos on your family's YouTube channel. What's the best prank you've played on your kids? The best prank was actually bringing snakes into the house. I had a guy called the Snake Godfather, and he actually, we hid some snakes inside of uh, these uh, trick-or-treat uh, candy buckets and we put candy all on the uh, on the buckets in the buckets and there were you snakes under there. One. yes and my son uh, my youngest son just picked it up and like didn't even flinch and I was like whoa and then my <laughs> wife and my daughter were like no 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 so it was pretty cool and there were harmless snakes as well so it was pretty cool he wanted it to keep it as a pet didn't he Yes, he wanted to keep it pet. I was like, yeah, I don't think we're doing that. <laughs> he didn't get to keep it. Yeah, no, didn't get to keep it. We went back home uh, to its owner. Question number four. What's the biggest lesson you learned playing football? Hmm, the biggest lesson I learned playing football is teamwork. I realized that I don't have to be Superman, and that's in anything in life that I always depend on my network of friends or my network of family or, you know, my coworkers that I don't have to be the individual person doing everything. And uh, that's not an easy concept for a lot of people. A lot of people think that they have to do everything on their own and it's okay to get help. It's okay to have people 
who have to get your back to people who, who can help work with you. So um, collaboration, teamwork, those things are huge in football because every single person on the football field needs the other person. So there are 11 men on both sides of the, of the ball and every single person is important. So that's something that will always live with me. And I try to teach my kids as well. Have you ever been to Idaho and tried our famous potatoes? Uh, yes, I have. I've been to a city called Moscow, Idaho. And it was one of the first thing I ever had to do because I was like, well, if you go to Idaho, you gotta, you absolutely have to have potatoes. Like, you know, that's yeah. like coming to California and not seeing a palm tree. Um, but uh, I know I have had an Idaho potato in Idaho. Um, and I actually have a cool thing. I want to see all 50 states in the United States. I've been to 41 of them. 41. No, no, I'm sorry. 38 of them. I've been to 38 states, but Idaho was included in there. Well, uh, how many more do you have to like? What are the rest of the ones? Uh, uh, well, a lot of the Northeast, um, a lot of the Northeast, Nebraska, the Dakotas. I've not done North Dakota, South Dakota. Um, and I think that's about it. Yeah, Nebraska, the Northeast, um, the Dakotas, Alaska. And um, I think I've, oh, uh, I just did Arkansas, did Montana. Yeah, I think I have those. Yeah, I have about, yeah, what is that? How many is that? Uh, 12? I have about 12 left. Yeah, Um. maybe and that when you've done all the states, you can come to Idaho and we can have a potato party and you can come to our house. Okay, all right. I, I like that. And, and what, uh, in, in Idaho is pretty big. Are you in Boise, Idaho? No, we're in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Okay, all right. I don't know Idaho well, but uh, I only know two cities, Moscow and Boise. Now you know Idaho Falls. Yeah, yeah, I do. I now know Idaho Falls. Yeah. Uh, what's the best thing about uh, being a dad? The best part about being a dad is being able to be to be able to help your kids grow um, and to help them out. I just love helping people. Um, my name actually last name means big man come save me, um, and so. My great great grandfather was a mediator, so he loved helping people. And I think there's something inside of me in the bloodline that I just love helping my kids along as they're experiencing life. Um, and then just the relationship too, having the relationship with the kids, um, with my kids are just it's it's pretty special. So I think that's the best part of being to me about about being a dad. You know? Yeah. So. Uh, can you tell me something about yourself that might surprise me? Um, hmm. well, there are probably two things. One, I have 32 letters in my entire name. Akbar Uluwa Kemi Ida U Baja Bia Mila. So there's 32 letters. That's more than the alphabets. There's 26 in the alphabet. So, oh uh, my 32. gosh. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then the other is that uh, I told you I love to travel. Uh, I have a goal of seeing all of the countries in the world. I've been to five continents. I haven't been to Australia or Antarctica, and I've done 40 countries. So I am, I am on a mission to, to see the entire world. I want to see the entire world and then go to space afterwards. <laughs> the last name, the, your full name thing is very surprising. <laughs> How many letters do you have in your name? Um, yeah, E. M M Y. My real name is e Emerson, though. Oh, Emerson. E M E R S O N. -S -O -N. So that's seven. I have twenty-six. I think. It's twenty-six. No, sixteen. 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 Oh, okay. Sixteen. Okay, so uh, you have half of the letters that I have in my name. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fun. And now it's time for some bonus questions. Are you ready, Akbar? I'm, I'm ready. A question number one. Remember the penguin that bit you on American Ninja Warrior? We know the owners of the Richmond Zoo where that penguin came from. Have you ever had some interest, any other interesting encounters with competitors or the animals? Uh, yes. Some of the um, ninjas, we have that one ninja who loves... Um, uh, insects and he's brought over some some uh, insects for us to eat like 
uh, like spiders and, and nasty yeah. things like that, crunchy and scorpions and uh, yeah. So our 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 bug ninja, um, he's uh, he's he's put me in some pretty bad situations. That's yeah, and the penguin did attack me pretty hard right there. Like, ah. Does it does it still hurt now? No, it doesn't hurt. It's all better now. It's all better now. But that uh, penguin, I thought it was going to give me a kiss and it just pecked me. I didn't think that thing could be that uh, that hard. But I guess they don't have any arms, so they need to peck really hard with their nose or their beak or whatever that thing is. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is your favorite junk food? Reese's peanut butter cup. No doubt about it. Reese's peanut butter cup is my all time favorite. Um, in fact, fun fact, when I go and film Ninja Warrior, there's a hidden stash. I try not to eat too much sugar, but in case I get really, really low and I'm just like, oh, I'm not feeling so well. There's a secret stash of Reese's peanut butter cup that cheers me up right away. I like that. Take five from Reese's. Oh, you like take five. Okay. And also I have another favorite which is my oatmeal raisin cookies. It's my favorite cookie, not chocolate chip, mm -mm. oatmeal raisin cookies. What advice do you have for me? Hmm, what advice do I have for you? Well, um, I will first off wanna congratulate you um, in being able to start off your broadcasting and hosting career uh, at such a young age. Uh, This is pretty cool. I love to see people really living and having fun and taking a chance and and experiencing different things. So you're doing that. I will say this, and I say this to a lot of people, but I truly believe it. To be good is not good enough if you dream of being great. And so if good is, if you just think good, you're like, all right, cool. And it's not that good as average, but constantly pushing yourself to being great. And the way you have that mindset mindset is to always be willing to learn, right? Always be willing to learn. So many people think like, I know it all. And if you know it all, guess what? There's no room to grow. So to be good is not good enough if you dream of being great. Yes. Thank you, Akbar. All right, you're welcome. Thanks so much for talking with me today. Make sure you check out Akbar on American Ninja Warrior and his family's YouTube channel. Bye. Bye, Emmy. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and sharing questions with Emmy.